Okay, let's come into our mountain pose and get started. So ribs toward your spine and up with those feet hip width apart, shoulders back and down, and just lengthen up through your spine. Make sure everything's nicely lined up. Spread your toes, get a good support. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale, tension. And just get that yoga focus inward as we get ready to do our practice today. Inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front. And exhale, the hands behind you. Just clasp them gently and press them to the floor as you lift your heart. Nice little back bend in that upper body. And then pivot at your hips. Exhale, round forward. Hands up, head down, and relax. Bend your knees a little bit. Tuck in your chin. Drop the sitting bones and wind from the bottom of the spine to the top. Coming into that upper body again for your back bend. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch your head away. Just feel your spine working. Inhale up, release your arms. Take a moment, just focusing on what's going on for you. And again, inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way, so shift them one position over with the fingers and press them toward the floor. Lift your heart, spread your toes, stretch your spine, and then again, exhale over. Deepen as far as you'd like to go. Move your chin around, get your neck releasing a little bit. And again, slowly working your way up into that back bend. Lift your heart. Shoulder, shoulder blades down as you come into your back bend. Oh, and all the time, actually, as well. Stretch out through your head, down into your feet evenly. And then inhale, upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feeling your circulation improve as we get ready to stretch our sides. Let's get one arm down today, the other one out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, pull that shoulder down, fingertips up, and then lean over to the side, no twist, so make sure you stay leaning or facing forward, not leaning, and reach out through your head and your fingertips, slide that other one down toward your knee or beyond if that works for you. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra stretch through the ribs. Inhale back up, release that side. Take a moment, feeling the difference, so let's even it out. Arm out, palm to the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Shoulder down, hand up, and lean to the opposite side. And again, don't lean forward, just straight to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, let this hand just fly as you reach out through your head and hand in the air. Take a breath, deepening, and then inhale up, exhale it down. Feel your sides a little bit more open, lateral spine motion that time. So next we're going to twist. You need to get the spine stretching apart so those bones have room to twist. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch up. And arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Again, shoulders, shoulder blades down, toes spreading and sinking evenly into the base of the toes and heels. Stretch that spine apart and exhale to twist. Take a breath and exhale open. Deepen as far as you'd like and just relax. See if your weight is still on both feet. Keep your arms by your ears. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit more. And then inhale your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, stretch into that upper body for your back bend. Remember, gentle on your low back while you're twisting. Take a few breaths there, stretching it out. Inhale up, exhale around to the center, shoulders still down, and switch your arm across. Again, lengthen that spine so you can twist to the other side. Another breath, and exhale over once more. 
This time, make sure you're still having your weight on both feet evenly. Deep, deep breaths, just relaxing. And again, slowly work your way up in the twist and into the upper body for your back bend. Shoulders down, elbows back, and chest up. Take a few breaths there. And then inhale to the top. Exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up into extended mountain. Pull your shoulders back down and sink evenly into your feet. Take a few breaths here, noticing how that feels, being stable and supported. Exhale any, release any tension through the shoulders. And then turn your palms out to shoulder level. Pivot at your hips, lead with your heart. Come forward into that stretch halfway down. And then just drop into ragdoll, arms hanging. Or pull in deeper and get a good stretch on the back of your body. Release your arms to the front. And one more roll up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top. Bring those shoulders. Oh, let's circle them a couple of times back and down. And as you come back into mountain pose, just take a moment, feel that spine a little bit more open. Let's work on the pelvis a little bit. So separate your feet just a little, toes turning slightly out. Remember, your whole leg turns, not just your feet. Bend your knees toward your second toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees, position, don't support, so no pressure in the knees. And then keep your shoulders right above your toes. Lengthen your spine. And then drop into the back bend. So push your chest forward and your hips back as you look to the front, crown toward the ceiling. Feel that back bend. Deepen it as far as you'd like. And then sitting bones tucked down and forward as you pull in your ribs and look down between your feet, getting that good C-shaped position. Forward bend to your spine. So we're moving the pelvis. Pushing the sitting bones back as you come into the back bend, really feeling that whole pelvis shift, and then tucking it down and forward as you come forward. So we're working the spine, we're working the pelvis, we're working it with the breath, so keep breathing with it. Inhaling into the back bend, exhaling into that forward bend. Really feel the hips moving, the whole lower body working as those feet stay planted, knees right above your toes. Now with your breath, and the next time you're forward, just pause and come back up and again into mountain pose. So again, a little bit more circulation through the spine, through the pelvis, maybe a little bit more open there, and take a moment in mountain pose. Hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands toward your toward the ceiling. A little back bend as you follow those hands behind you, lifting your heart, stretch your head, don't crunch your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, drop into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straightening, lengthening. Exhale back down. Just relax and ragdoll, tuck in your chin, maybe pull in deeper if you love it. And again, hands to the front. Stand straight in the knees, straight in your back. Bring your arms out at shoulder level, straight out from your shoulders parallel to the floor. Pivot at your hips as you come up. Keep those shoulders, shoulder blades down as you get your arms up. Check in mountain pose or in standing pose to see if those arms are still shoulder level, and then drop them into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just feel what your body is telling you today. And let's find our balance focus. So lift your toes on your favorite balance foot. Always start on the one that's better so you can educate that second side. Spread the toes out as you put them down, but don't rip that raises the ball of your foot and gives you less support. So we want that ball of the foot area all the way across down on the floor. Heel down as well. Get the weight into the heel and the 
base of the toe area equally. Make sure your knee is going toward that second toe, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, four active. So bring those ribs toward your spine and up to support your spine, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling, sink into that balanced foot, grounding into the earth. Bring your other leg up. So remember again, don't cross it over, make sure you're rolling slightly in. Bring that foot up as far as you want today. You can pull the leg toward your heart if that works. And then when you're stable, work your ankle. Circling it around, making sure we don't get stiff old lady ankles. And then flex the point and release. As you get back onto both feet, take what worked on the first side, shift it to the second side. Make sure you're going into that alignment, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, shoulders relaxing back and down, and ground reaching to the ceiling. Spread those toes, make sure the base of the foot is supporting you evenly, and bring your other foot up. So remember, balance challenge, leave the foot low or bring it higher wherever it's comfortable for you. And again, go ahead and work your ankles so we don't get stiff and unable to balance. Take a moment there, stretching, flexing and pointing as you get ready to put that foot back down. Exhale any stress and tension. And just take a moment feeling your mountain pose. Spread the toes, sink evenly into both feet. Sink those sitting bones toward the floor, shoulder blades down. Take a moment feeling that core supporting you. Exhale any stress. And let's do one more balance. We'll do our three again. See how that goes today. So once again, favorite balance foot to start on. Get it centered and grounded and everything lined and aligned and that core activated. And then take your whole leg and turn it out to the side on that other leg, bringing that heel in near your arch and the knee out. Same direction as your toes toward the side. Keep the hips, shoulders open to the front as much as you can. Slide that heel up just above your ankle, toes just barely touching the floor. See how your balance is? If that's working, you can bring the foot up to your calf, not your knee, or bring it up to your thigh, not your knee, and bring your hands to your heart. Find the stability there, kind of press the leg and foot together, just like you're pressing your hands together, just gently. Take a moment there and breathe. If you're stable and you want, you can bring your hands either straight up or out to the sides and up, either shoulder level or together into the full tree. Take a moment and breathe. When you're ready, bring your hands back down. Bring your knee to the front and your foot to the floor and release. Take a moment. Spreading your toes, getting reconnected into both feet, feeling that stability on both sides. And of course, we're getting ready to shift to the second side. So just take a moment breathing, exhaling any stress from your balance practice, working into that second foot, getting everything aligned and ready and core activated. Sitting bones and shoulder blades where? Down toward the floor. Round to the ceiling. Spread those toes, make sure they're not gripping, and turn the other foot. So the whole leg, remember, turns out to the side, knee going toward the toes. Take a moment there, and then when you're ready, move the foot up a little, or more, or to your thigh. And again, find your stability first before you do anything else. Breathe. Second side is always a little more challenging, so bring your focus where it needs to be. Hands to your heart and when you're ready. And again, find your stability. Breathe. When you're ready, you can bring those hands out and up or together to the ceiling or shoulder with the foot. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down. Breathe. Find your stability. And again, when you're ready to release, hands to your heart, knee to the front, 
and foot to the floor as you come back into mountain pose. Take a breath. Sink evenly into your feet and appreciate that stability of mountain pose. And again, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, looking at them, bringing them toward the ceiling. Let's swan dive forward, arms out at shoulder level, pivoting at your hips, chest leading down. Drop into ragdoll. Just take a moment, feeling your body. Just think. Hands up under your knees, on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Exhale, bend the knees, come all the way to the floor, into child pose. Take a moment to breathe as we transition to the floor. Just let the shoulders relax, let those hips release, and don't forget to relax any tension from your balance practice. Deep breath in. Just exhale and release. And then bring your hands out to the front. Let's pivot up, knees hip width apart. Toes straight back through the knees, knees right under the hips. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, coming into table position. We'll do another balance practice. So get those ribs up, supporting your low back. Chest slightly towards your thumbs so you're not hunching up in the shoulders. Sitting bones and crowns stretch apart, spread through fingers. Remember, if you need to, you can put your fists down instead if your wrists are bothering you. So again, spread the fingers if your fingers are down and lengthen through the spine. And we're going to bring the right leg back up to hip level. Toes top of the foot pointing down, knee pointing toward the floor, hip pointing toward the floor, both hips even. Find your, your position, get that leg stretching back through the base of the toes, keep that core active and supporting your spine. And bring the arm next to your ear. Stretch it out, fingertips stretching forward, toes stretching back, crown reaching along with the sitting bones apart. Keep the hip up and the shoulder at shoulder level, just like the other one. Everything evenly facing the floor. Stretch it out maybe a little bit more, feel the balance, and then bring your hand and knee back to the floor. Circle that wrist if you need to, getting the circulation going as we get ready to do our balance to the other side. Ribs up, chest slightly down, spine stretching apart. Slide the left foot back, bring the foot up to hip level. Keep the hip bones facing the floor evenly. Stretch out through the toes, through the base of the toes, and bring the opposite arm up. Stretch it out, lengthening. Shoulders back toward your waist, even while you're stretching that arm forward. Sink evenly into that hand on the floor and leg on the floor. Stretch it out, get those ribs up, support that lower back, don't let it sink. Keep that foot stretching at hip level. Take a breath, stretch maybe a little bit more, and then exhaling hand and knee down. Circle your wrist. Sink back, hips to your heels. Bring your forehead toward the floor. And extend the child's pose. Just circle those wrists out in front of you. And then exhaling, bring the hands back next to your feet. And relax. Deep breath in. Just releasing any tension. And when you're ready, go ahead and sit up and bring your legs out to the front into staff position. Take a moment to breathe as you press out through the heels, toes up toward the ceiling, knees up toward the ceiling, sitting bones behind you. Make your adjustments, pad if you need to. And just take a moment finding your staff position. Breathe deep, exhale any tension. Let's bring one foot to the inner thigh with the knee coming out. And then take the heel back near your hip and the knee straight to the front. Take a moment and breathe. And as you exhale, we're going to take the 
Hand across to the first knee you bend and bring the other hand up out in front. We're going into a twist. So this back hip is a little bit up. It's going to stay up as we circle into our twist. So again, sitting bones down, base of the skull, crown up, stretch the spine, and allow it to go into your twist if you follow that hand around behind you. Bring the hand down to the floor close to your body and lengthen again up through the whole spine. Hip up slightly so you don't plant that back and overwork the low back as you exhale and turn into your twist a little deeper. Take a breath. Just deepen as far as you want to go. And then releasing your hand, bring it back up and follow it around to the center, releasing back into step position. Take a moment as you get there, feeling your body after that twist, a little bit more energy maybe going up to your skull. And of course, we're going to balance and twist the other way. So foot to your inner thigh, sitting bones behind you, spine stretching apart. Bring that other heel back near your hip with the knee toward the foot. Again, this hip will be a little bit up for our twist. Take your opposite hand to the knee and the other arm out in front of you. Stretch the spine for our twist. Exhale, follow that hand around behind you as far as it wants to go. Hand to the floor close to your body. Stretch up. Lift the sitting bone up off the floor so you can exhale deeper into your twist. Keep moving around, hips, ribs, and shoulder, everything turning, not just your head. Take a breath, relax into it. And again, bringing your hand up, follow it back around to the center, releasing into step pose. As you get back into staff position, just take a moment and breathe, exhaling any tension. And come into a cross legged position, sitting bones behind you, remembering, of course, that we're creatures of habit. Go ahead and switch the legs to the other cross. Again, sitting bones behind you, spine stretching, core active, supporting your spine, lengthen through the bones. We're going to do another twist. Bring your hands to the floor, arms out, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Lengthen up. Exhale and turn to one side, bringing one hand behind you, the other to the opposite knee. Take a breath, again, lengthening up. Bring that hip that you're turning away from slightly up. Exhale, deepen into your twist. So turning hips, ribs, and shoulder again into the twist. Take a breath, just a little bit more. And then as you inhale, raise both hands as you turn back to the front. Hands out, exhaling them down to your sides. Feel the spine, again, a little bit more activated from your twist as we get our legs switched the other way for our second twist. Again, in your sitting position, sitting bones slightly behind you, spine is stretching way apart, hands to your sides. Arms out, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Stretch way, way, way up, shoulders go staying down. Exhale, turn to the other side. One hand to the front knee, the other one right behind you on the floor. Stretch up, lift that hip you're moving away from slightly, hit sitting bone up so that you can exhale and again deepen that twist. Take a breath. Just doing what's right for your body. Maximizing or minimizing hips, ribs, and shoulder training. And again, after a breath or two there, inhale the arms back up as you turn back to the center, shoulders still down, arms out, and returning to your sides. Lift your knees, stretch the legs out into staff position. Take a moment feeling what's going on internally for you, breathing deep, and out. And then bring your feet to the end of the mat. Then you go slightly behind you, activate that core, and just slowly sink into your surface beneath you. And just as you get all the way down, take a moment, releasing and relaxing into that corpse position, recline integration. 
And shifting up to T position, we'll do one more twist. Yes, twist up good for our spines. Bend your knees, sitting bones down, bring those heels in near your hips. Knees straight up toward the ceiling. We're going to bring the feet up off the floor, knees right next to each other, or you can cross one leg over and then roll to that side that the foot is going toward, turning your head toward the opposite side. So either knees together going down or one knee crossed over going further toward the floor. That makes the lower back twist more if you love it. And again, pad if you need to. Never ever go into a twist without honoring your body doing what's right for you. Deep breaths, just relaxing shoulders down for that middle back twist and head turning toward the arm behind you for your neck twist. Only go where you need to go. Exhaling to deepen when your body is ready to do it, but never forcing it. Keep those bones stretching apart. They twist more easily then. And don't forget, just exhale any tension. When you're ready to release this twist, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. If you cross those legs, uncross, straighten things out if you need to and get ready to twist to the other side. Feet up, knees together, or cross the other one over. And again, roll to that side as you turn your head the other way. Shoulders down for the middle back twist, knee and, or knees going toward the floor, or padding if your lower back needs just a gentler twist today. And head turning for your neck area as much as it wants to twist. Again, breathe. Relax, even only as far as your body wants, doing what's always right for your practice. Exhaling any tension. And deepening your twist. And again, when you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, uncross if you were crossed, and bring the feet to the floor. Slide the legs out. You tip with the part, toes together, shoulders relaxing down, hands, palms up slightly away from your hips, and just let your whole body relax. As you deepen into that surface beneath you, just let everything in your body release any tension. Relax your belly, relax your hips, relax through the spine, lots of work there. Deepen and allow that exhalation just to let your body soften and sink. And as your body releases and relaxes into that surface beneath you, just let it go. No need to hold any tension anywhere. Let the jaw release, the shoulders relax, the belly soften. Just let your body grow heavy, sink into that earth support beneath you, and let your body go completely. As you relax your body, just let thoughts of it release from your awareness. The earth will support you, just let it go. And as you release the thoughts of your body, other thoughts will come to your mind. Let them go as well. Just allow your mind to drift, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice when you pay attention. At this moment, there's no thought you need to hold on to. Just let it drift away without attention, allowing your awareness to release both your body and your mind. As you deep breathe deeper, sink your body gently into the earth embrace and allow your mind to float more freely, releasing the past, forgetting the future. Just allow the awareness of the breath to draw you inward into that peace within you. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Take a few moments and be peace.
And if you have time to keep relaxing today, take all the opportunity. Um, it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. Breathing, stretching more fully as you become ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga hook of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, heels drawing up towards your hips, and knees up toward your chest. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.